and welcome to Pilates by Hells. I'm super excited today because I just received my brand new Balanced Body Studio Reformer with Tower. So today I'm going to walk you through the unboxing and setup of my new reformer. So the first thing to note is that the delivery is curbside delivery. That means that they're just taking this giant 200 pound box and putting it on your curb. They're not even moving it onto your sidewalk, into your house, or even up to your door. And my curb is about 20 yards from my front door. So I had to figure out a way to get this giant box all the way up to my door and inside my house. Luckily, I have no steps. Um, so my partner and I got just a flat dolly that has four wheels on it. And another thing to note is that this box comes on a wooden pallet. So it's on the pallet. We shifted it, just pushed it off the pallet onto our dolly and wheeled it up to the front door. Unfortunately, when we got to the front door, we realized the box would not fit through the front door. Um, we didn't want to turn the box on the side because we didn't want to damage any of the equipment inside. So we decided to leave the box outside, take the lid off the box, and then start disassembling and bringing the boxes in one at a time instead of damaging the equipment and trying to move it or turn it. Once we opened the box, we realized that there was a lot of smaller boxes inside, which made it much easier for us to transfer from outside to inside. So we took those individual boxes and brought them inside one at a time. After that, we were only left with the frame of the reformer, which is still pretty heavy, but between my partner and I, we were able to lift it up and carry it in ourselves, just turning it on its side so it was able to fit through the door. So now that I have the reformer inside, I'm ready to start unboxing and assembly. Let's get started and hopefully I can find the instructions. So now that we're done unboxing, we're ready to get started with assembly. The first step is to clean the rails. So we're going to just come in and get the rails a nice wipe because we're going to be putting the carriage on here. So just getting any dust and debris from shipping off of the rails. And then I'm going to come over and come to my carriage and just give these wheels a nice wipe as well. Just getting off any debris, any dust. Now that the rails and the wheels are clean, we're going to put the carriage onto the rails. Now we're going to attach the springs underneath the carriage. So we're going to take the hook portion underneath the carriage. The hook goes into the eyelet with the hook part facing down and the spring rests on this ledge. Now the next step in the instructions say to attach the wooden risers, but I have metal risers, which fortunately looks a little easier. So I'm just gonna slide this riser right into this metal post. And you can see there's kind of holes on here. You can adjust it as high or as low as you want, and then just pop it in to secure. Just do the same thing on the other side, making sure it lines up at the same height. Okay. So the next step actually says to install the ropes. However, in that instruction, it says to install the ropes by using the shoulder blocks. So I figured I should probably install the shoulder blocks first. So another note is to never sit on the carriage without a spring. That's why I'm sitting here behind the carriage, not on the carriage because I have no springs attached. So to start, I'm just gonna grab your shoulder block. So now we're gonna take the shoulder block. These two protruding pieces are gonna go into the larger holes and then slide back into the smaller holes. I'm gonna take this black piece that has a screw hole there inside and place it on top of this bolt here. And this is just going to go straight on and turn to tighten this into place. And ensure you don't over tighten it, you want to be able to get it off later if need be. So just screwing that all the way on until it's secure. So next I'm just going to move the foot bar to the upright position, getting it out of the way, locking it into place. And then I'll pull the carriage in and just attach a spring to keep it steady. To 
To install the ropes, I'll first take the soft loop, place it over the shoulder block, and then take the end of the rope, come back to the riser, place it around the pulley, pulling that through. I'll bring the end of the rope through this silver loop, pulling it through, placing it down through the clamps, back through the other silver loop, and then down into the hole underneath the machine. Now that we're ready to install the tower, we're gonna take the included Allen wrench and loosen the screws on the upright poles. The vertical upright bars now go into the end brackets with the black knobs facing outwards. Placing the vertical bar into the end bracket. Ensuring that the black knob is facing outward. I'm going to place the horizontal bar on top of the vertical bars, ensuring that the loop is facing towards the carriage. Now we're going to make sure that the knobs are even. As you can see, this one's a little higher, so I'm going to pull this one up by pulling out the knob, sliding, and locking into place so that the knobs are even. Now we're going to mount the push through bar. So I'm going to grab the bar and one of the bolts, placing the bolt through the hole. Tightening one side, grabbing the other bolt and placing that in, just giving it a hand tighten. And then we're going to go back in with the wrench to tighten fully. Now I'm going to tighten all the bolts on the corners and the back brackets. So the last and final step is the fun part. I get to unpack and attach all of the springs to the tower. So my new Balance Body Studio Reform with Tower is now set up and ready to go. I'm so excited to make some new videos to share with you how to use this reformer and do some great exercises and workouts. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for joining me.